When you look at the geopolitical situation, as complex as we've seen, and I, I don't know if it's 1948 or 1938, obviously we all hope it goes away. I think it's a little bit of wishful thinking. It's going to take real leadership on the part of many people out there. And then I look at the financial situation, the, the fiscal spending, which is more than it's ever, I'm talking about the United States, but it's almost true around the world. It's more than it's ever been in peacetime, by a long shot, with the highest debt levels we ever had by government. <clears throat> and there's this kind of omnipotent feeling that central banks and governments can, can manage through all this stuff. I, I, I'm cautious. I don't think it makes a piece of difference whether rates go up 25 basis points or more. Like zero, none, nada. I think whether the whole curve goes up 100 basis points, you know, I would, I urge people, be prepared for it. I don't know if it's going to happen. But I look at what we're seeing today more like the 70s. A lot of spending, a lot of it's going to be wasted. I'm in favor of this whole uh, ESG effort. On the other hand, if you look at the way we're going about it, uh, it's almost like governments want to whack them all and force it, but no carbon taxes, no rational way to go about it that would be more important. In the United States, for example, you know, you can't build pipelines to reduce coal emissions. You can't build, uh, you can't build, get the permits to build solar and wind uh, and things like that. So we, we better get our act together. I'm hopeful, when I listen to all the R&D, see it around the world, we will make the breakthroughs we need to be climate. But it's going to be a day later and longer than it should be because of our own basic uh, uh, incompetence. I also want to add, add one last thing. I'm taking it from Bob Gates. To fix this, it's going to take real leadership from the Western world, in particular uh, America, but leadership which is not just military, diplomatic, development, finance, and this development finance, I don't know if Ajay is still here, what we need in development finance dwarfs what governments can do. So it, it, it can't be done without private capital, and private capital you know, isn't going to come in if they, you, know, you build something that gets taken from a government or something like that. So <coughs> we have a lot of work to do. It's one of the reasons I think these events are positive, uh, but I, I would be quite concerned and the other thing about when you look at economics, I think people prepare for possibilities and probabilities, not calling one course of action since I've never seen anyone call it. I want to point out that central banks 18 months ago were 100% dead wrong. Okay, so maybe there should be humility about uh, financial forecasting. I, I would be quite cautious about what might happen next so, year. 